What's up guys and welcome to Pool Cleaning Simulator. That's right baby, it's about that time we had a new career under our belt. We've been a car mechanic, a house flipper, a border patrol agent, and all of the other above. It's about that time we add a new pool cleaning business to our uh, resume. We're going to start up a brand new game. Excited for this. This game is brand new. It actually comes out next week on the 7th. We got a little bit of early access, so thank you to Playway and uh, Free Mine. And uh, let's get into it. So go to, uh, to go on errands, you need special equipment. Buy the necessary things from the store. So we've got a store up here. We want to buy a pressure washer for 40 bucks. That's pretty good. Buy a container of chlorine tablets. These are good. These are going to keep things nice and clean. Remember to equip items in the inventory. So we can open up our inventory. We could put our pressure washer in there. We could put our chlorine tabs in there. We could put our sponge in there. You're good to go. Go back to our mission, Neighborhood Pool Part 1. We've got all the things that we need. Let's check the details. I would like to ask for your company services. Spring is already here and my swimming pool is still unclean after the winter. I need a full algae removal and disinfection of water with chlorine. Chlorine tabs, floater, and water control system are in my shed next to the pool. If you have any spare time, I'd like to ask you to do one more small thing. I'm a huge rubber duck fan. Unfortunately, my kids lost some of my finest rubber ducks from my collection. If you see any in the backyard, put them in the basket, and I'll give you something extra if you find all of them. All right. Sounds simple enough. Our first job, starting small, but we're going to get it done. Here we go. Beautiful house here. Love the uh, America. This is the American dream right here. You got a pool. You got some flags. You got a big old white house with a white picket fence. And you've got a really dirty pool. Yeah, this thing needs some help. So we want to empty the pool. Which it looks like that's going to be right here. We can see this thing start to go down. Get the sponge out of the van. Let's go grab that. Here in the back of the van, we can grab our sponge. Look at the, the, the draining happening here. Dude, the water looks pretty good. We've got a duck in here as well. I'm going to put our sponge down. Let's pick this duck up. We could throw this in here, it looks like. So we are just about drains. And now I think our our goal is going to be to clean this thing. Now, we do have a pressure washer. I feel like that might be a, a bit more efficient than a sponge. But we're just going to get to work here. Sometimes a little sweat equity is better than anything else. Let's start with the bricks up top here. I love games like this, dude. Just slowly making things clean again. There it is. Look at that. We can, we have little little sound effects over all the lights. So we're going to get the, the bricks up top that kind of trim around the pool first, and then we're going to work our way inside. This is a pretty nice pool. I mean, it, it's, it's a little small. It's more of like a wade pool than one you could actually swim in, but not the biggest backyard in the world. Looks like they kind of prioritize some of the outdoor sitting and eating space over the pool and that's okay start getting into these crevices here oh my goodness dude games like this are my jam i just i love slowly but surely making things look beautiful again maybe do little little circles here might work better not really pretty tiresome right go grab the pressure washer for more efficiency okay so we're starting small but your boy is smart work smarter not harder we're gonna grab our pressure washer here and now we should be able to speed up the process a bit beautiful that is what i'm talking about welcome to the modern era of pool cleaning we could even kind of get like a, a little little walk back and forth going rather than doing the side to side and kind of slowly go up the wall it takes a couple hits i feel like maybe going slow works a little bit better but we have options we have to get down and get like underneath here how serious are we getting about this cleaning Hit this step area oh so it looks like we got the, the bricks there. That was the bricks being done. Do we have like a... Kind of reminds me of pressure wash sim. Do we have like a, a, a dirt highlighter? I'm not, I'm not sure. That'd be helpful, but... This algae is pretty easy to see. Should we get all in here? It looks like our wall should be about done. Although I think the wall and the floor are probably all kind of the same thing. Let's get these drains here. These are going to be a major problem area. Got that. I love the little dings. And they've got multiple different types of dings. We do little ups and downs here. Try to find our most efficient way of doing things. You can't move too fast. I did see in the store, though, there's upgrades and things. And we have, like, multiple uh, different things we could do to our pressure washer. So I think over time, we're obviously going to become a lot more efficient with cleaning here. This is kind of our first run of it. And we have a $40 pressure washer, which I didn't even know you could buy them that cheap. But it's going to get better with time for sure. Got this last little segment here. Is that more dirt? Right th Oh, shoot. There's, like, really light layers of, of dirt. You see, like, this right here? There's light, light, light layers of dirt. I'm going to hope 
This is the end tier. Again, I don't think there's a dirt highlighter, so we could... We... It... It's not clean. We could be in trouble here. We're gonna have to find the, the tiniest... Little areas that are just kind of one little shade wrong. I feel like we need to get up under this, too. Just gonna crouch and go back and forth on the walls. We're gonna hit everything we can possibly hit. Oh, my goodness, dude. Okay, this, so this, it's very particular. That We have one of the hardest customers known to man. He wants every single little speck of dirt off this thing. Are we missing, like, the outside? No, we, we got the ding on the, the trim. It's got to be the inside of the pool. I got the ding on every single one of the lights. It's gotta, it's gotta be something in here, dude. Sir, is this good? You want me to clean your windows too? My goodness, come on, please. We're almost, we, it's, it's, there's gonna be this tiniest little speck of dirt. I know it. Oh my goodness, we got it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So we're gonna fill the pool back up. I'm assuming, I'm gonna drop this for now. I'm assuming that's this. I love, dude, look at that. We've got... Is that coming out of the... I thought those were lights. I guess those were areas for the water to come out. So this is filling back up. I actually really love the way the water looks in this game. Now you need to purify the water. Some cleaning tools need chemical products to work right. Try chlorine taps from the van on the floater in the shed and fill it before putting it in the water. All right, that makes sense. So we are going to put our power washer back in. We're going to grab our chlorine tablets. Let's bring these over here. We're going to want to put them in this. I think we're going to... Probably want three or four. How many? Four? Okay. I'm going to put our chlorine tablets back in the van. I'm going to grab this guy. We're going to want to put this in the pool. Can we put it in before it's done filling? It should just kind of float there. Beautiful. And uh, so we need to fill the pool, put the floater in, bring the tools back to the van. We're about done. I think we just need to find some ducks. So I guess I will oblige. We need to put 15 ducks in here. I've seen a couple around. There's some in the bushes. 15 is kind of a lot, dude. One up on the, the post over here in the bushes, back in the corner. Found one right here. Dude, the, these kids are, are bad. It, it, you, these are your collections and they're treating them like this. I, I throw the kids away. Don't let them touch the ducks anymore. Got this one here. Seeing a lot of them in, oh, that's literally one right there. I didn't think that was gonna be one. I say, I'm seeing a lot of these in the, the bushes here. So we're just gonna, oh, that's a flower. We're just gonna keep checking, oh. I wouldn't have even seen that one if it weren't for the highlight. Just keep checking the bushes. They gotta be all over the bushes. We found one there. One here. We're at 13 out of 15. Do we think they could be up front here? Found another kid's toy. We don't need this, do we? Screw you, kid, for wasting my time. Threw it over into... Oh. Screw you, kid! Wait, can I throw it up on the roof? Ugh. Unfortunately, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to hide it from the kid. Um, okay, two two more. I mean, this isn't really my main... My, oh, hello, beautiful. My main goal, but if we can get it done, I would like to. Aha! Found the last one here. Beautiful, it was in the pool shed. So all is done. Drop this in here, even our optional objective. We have a beautiful new pool. Ready for the homeowner to enjoy for the summer. Uh, we want to go in, check our message, complete it. Thank you so much for finding those ducks. Those are collectibles. Who knows where those gummy birds would end up if not for you. I sent a little extra for your effort. Thanks again, man, from Tommy. So we got 100 bucks for cleaning the pool. That's pretty good. Additional task, we got a $10 tip. So 10, 10 bucks for finding the ducks. I feel like that's a little bit cheap, but it's, it's all right. Hotel pool, murder swimming pool. We're gonna need a pressure washer, a UV lamp, and a filter. Can we get a, a UV lamp from the store? UV lamp is gonna be 400 bucks. We can't afford that yet. School swimming pool. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Aqua park. Interesting. We can get underwater vacuum. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of, of progression here. We need a pressure washer, a landing net, and a filter. So we're gonna need to buy the filter for 20 bucks. And the landing net. So this is kind of like a, a little skimmer, pool skimmer. I've never heard it called a landing net before. So we're going to put our pressure washer in here, the landing net, the sponge, just in case we need it. I'm going to put the air filter in there. And we should be able to take this hotel pool part one. On behalf of Hotel Paradise, to seek professional pool cleaning service that could work out, work out our piranha problem. One of our customers actually let those vicious fish in our pool and we had to evacuate the whole area. If you could make them disappear and clean our pool, it would be great. Remember about changing the filter code for our pipe box is 2137.
pipe system's kind of complicated, so here's some instructions. Push the red button, move the red le lever to empty it, get it filled again, turn the red valve three times, move the blue lever and push the... Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to have to bring that up later. I'm not going to remember that. 2137 is, is what I have. Okay, so... Uh, oh... Dude, this is sick. Okay, we've got like a Moroccan, Egyptian desert vibe happening here. I'm going to grab our... I'm imagining the skimmer is for the piranhas. We've got piranha swim. We definitely don't want to fall in this pool, Trev. Shoot. We're going to have to think smarter than the, the fish here. Got one. Beautiful. We put them in the box. Sorry, buddy. I don't think you're going to be getting out of this box anytime soon. I feel kind of bad. Piranhas are... Are they rare? I'm not sure. I feel like we could call like a pest control to, to maybe not let them suffocate in a box, but it, it's fine. You know, it, it's not our problem. Our problem is this this dirty pool. This dirty, dirty... I almost just fell in right there. Okay, Trevor, let's... Nope. Come on. Got him. Let's go. Dude, this is such a cool area with the little tables and, and lights and everything. All right. So we're going to put this back in here. I think this... And it was 2137, right? That's the code for the pipe box, which is going to be down here. And Todd said, uh, push the red button and move the red lever. So red button. There's the red wheel. This is the red lever. Open that up and we should start to drain. That's what I'm, Dude, the water looks so good. Look at it leaking down. I love how all the pools are different too. This one has the drains over on the side. All right, we're gonna go grab the pressure washer and this is where we're gonna have to get to work. Looks like we've got a lot of issues on the side here as well as on the inside. So let's just start getting to cleaning this thing. Maybe some, some long strokes here. The outside's usually a bit easier to clean than the inside. Just gotta take your time. And make sure you don't miss a spot. I love how these super labor-intensive jobs always make for the best simulators. Like, the, the most boring, mundane stuff. And it's just like... It, being a pool cleaner would be so tough. I, here in Florida, we obviously... I mean, we have pool cleaners. Everyone I know that has a pool has pool cleaners. It's just... It's, it's kind of, you know, hard to, to keep track of. You could do it yourself, but it's it's a lot of work. And I don't know. We're, we're gone so much, it makes sense. But... Like, these guys, they're out in the sunshine just sweating, wearing, you know, long sleeves and stuff because they, they don't want to get sunburned. And it's just like, I, I don't know, like, it, it would be such a tough job. And here we are in the comfort of our air-conditioned home office just playing pretend pool cleaner, dude. Definitely gives me an appreciation for what these guys do. Get the little, little pipes here. I thought these were lights on the other ones, but I guess these are... These are little, like, pipes where the water can come out. Beautiful. Very dirty pool they had here. I've got a feeling the piranhas were not the only issue, but it's all right. We're going to make it right. We're going to get you wet and scrub you down. But yeah, man, Florida Florida guys, they, they have it. They have it rough for sure. They're about to have a lot more work, too. We got that hurricane coming in. Have you guys seen that? I Adalia? Hurricane I I Idalia? Idalia? I don't know how to say her name, but uh, yeah, she's... She's on our way in. We had an, an eye hurricane Ian last year that was really rough, so hopefully this one's not as bad, but it's it's looking like it could get a little a little hairy over the next couple of days. Definitely gonna give the pool cleaners of Florida a lot more work, that's for sure. Maybe your boy's gonna have to do like a, a post-hurricane in real life pool cleaning simulator episode. Got the drains here, beautiful. Just gonna focus on the steps. See, like, the, these are the parts that get you. That looks like it's mostly clean, but it's it's not. You got to make sure you're getting every... Ooh, that, that was a segment right there. Every little little segment has to be got. Those little dings are everything, dude. I love that. Look at this. We're building this pretty much perfect rectangle here. Let's get it off this side a little bit. This is nice. See, th this, is, this is my wheelhouse. This is where I really start to enjoy it. Just watching us slowly... Mess that up a little bit. Slowly come down and clean this off. This is beautiful. You could even crouch to walk a little bit slower and make sure we're not missing anything. Nice clean line. We're missing some stuff. Crouching is actually a little bit harder. Nice little segment of the big stuff here. And then I think we're probably going to have some hidden problem areas that we're going to have to kind of spam around a little bit. I was holding my breath hoping we were going to get it. But no, there's there's going to be little ones. So we're, we're just going to... Have to do a once-over of everything. You boys are perfectionists. We're, we're going to make sure every last speck 
of sand has been power washed off of this thing. I do feel like this needs to be a, a situation where it's like, if you're 98, 99% of the way done with the thing, it should just give you the, the automatic. Uh, finding this last little piece of grime is, is borderline impossible. Oh my goodness, we got it. I'm just randomly, uh, you know, spraying praying. All right, so that is done. The pool is clean. Now we're going to want to change the filter. Let's grab our filter out of here. I'm imagining the filter is going to be over here in the... In the Cool, whatever 2137 is at this let's open that up that's our our old filter we're going to get rid of that and now we're going to want to fill the pool get it filled again turn the red valve three times move the blue lever and push the blue button okay one two three then we're going to flip the blue lever and push the blue button. And is that gonna start filling the pool? Beautiful, look at our work, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We've got this empty filter we can dispose of back in our truck and uh, bam, what do you know? Another beautiful, clean pool by yours truly. Not gonna lie, all this like turquoise, buttery clean water just makes me wanna go for a swim. Who doesn't like a nice swim? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's one of the small things in life. When you get to go to the pool, go to the beach, go to whatever. Get a nice little float in. I don't know what makes it so great, but I love it. I don't think I've ever met anyone. Well, I guess some people don't really like pools, but for the most part, it seems like it's a pretty cut and dry thing. Now, hidden treasure. It says it, says it wants us to find a hidden treasure. I'm confused. I feel like we're pressing a lot of buttons and I'm not I'm not sure where where we're going with this but I'm I'm going. Are these resetting every time we press it? I don't think so. Oh, up here. We got one back here. Dude, I'm so confused. We got one right here. So we're pushing all of these in, right? Why do I feel like there might be one inside the pool thing? Nope. The pool's almost filled here. Come on. We got to find it. We got to find it. We got to find it. Where where would this be? Right here. I heard the wheeling of... S is it... Is it this? Ah! We found some gold bars. Okay. We found the hidden treasure. Beautiful. Now we just got to wait for this pool to fill. She's almost done. It takes quite a... Can I swim in it? Dude, look at this. We can enjoy it. Look at our little ripples and everything. Okay. Looks like we found the treasure. We got everything done. Pool cleaners found a hidden treasure. No one has been able to solve this mystery for many years. The owner of the hotel promises more puzzles of this type. Congrats to the winner. So we got a $500 reward and 50 bucks for the additional task. We've now got $640 and that's going to be enough to take on the murder swimming pool. We're going to have to buy a UV lamp and a filter. This is, it's, it's going to be interesting. There's an incident in my pool. Such a tragedy. All right. We're going to take this on the next episode. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.